little bit. A little bit. Why you look so sad? Hi guys, it's Crystal and today we're going to do this Halloween reciprocal gradient. See what I did there? Halloween. You can make fun of me in the comment section. I'm totally okay with it because I'm totally in love with this and all Halloween things, but mainly this. To start off, I'm going in with my regular go-to base coat from Glisten and Glow. This is a sticky base coat and it's color correcting. I'm using this instead of a peel-off because unfortunately I still have not mastered using peel-offs with vinyls and I don't know how the people who do it actually manage to do it without tearing up the whole nail. Next, we're going to go in with one coat of a Blaze from Vapid Lacquer. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous orange linear holographic. And I am so in love with it. By the end of this season, I'm going to be hunting for another bottle probably because I'm going to have used it so much. Or starting a petition to try to get it brought back. This and Spider and the Fly, which is a gorgeous green they have because I'm in love with them. After that, we're going in with my Control alt delete Latex Barrier from Glisten and Glow. Just smearing it around the cuticles to protect from glitter herpes or glurpees. Because that always happens when I do gradients. I end up getting hollow glitter all over my cuticles. I really just can't help it. It happens. For the gradient, I'm combining a blaze with Lady of Casterly Rock from Bad Bitch Polish. This is a super, super sexy black linear hollow. And it's actually like a true black hollow. I'm used to finding black hollows and loving them, and they always have a shimmer or something else going on. This is just a straight black hollow, and it still actually manages to have a ton of that hollow come through. Which I'm not used to, so I'm in love with it. Once you've got your gradient down on a sponge, you're going to dab the crap out of your nails. I started with black at the top. I'm not even sure why, because I debated like where I was going to go with this for, I'd say, a good 20 minutes before deciding to have black at the top and then go over it with the orange later. But, you know, it actually worked out and I liked it, so it works. Next, I'm peeling off my latex barrier. I don't have a lot of cleanup, but for the first time, I'm going to use my number two cleanup brush from Twinkle Tea and do my cleanup on camera. Holy shiznats, guys. I mean, really. And as you can see, I still have some liquid latex stuck to my cuticle because it happens all the time. I'm not the greatest person at some of this stuff. You probably shouldn't be trying to learn things from me. But this, this right here is exactly why I don't do my cleanup on camera. Look at how long this is taking me. And it would be so much faster if I just flipped my hand over and did it. But I'm trying new things. I gotta practice it to get better. Once you have your gradient all down, all cleaned up, I'm going in with a layer of my top coat from Glisten and Glow. I'm doing this to protect the gradient because if I mess up with my vinyls creating the reciprocal gradient, I can kind of go in and fix it without having to tear off my bottom gradient. You just have to carefully remove that top polish so that the top coat is still there. And normally I show you my gradients, but I didn't film them, so I put a picture of them in. It's pretty. After that's done, and you have your beautiful gradient that you almost didn't want to do anything with because it was so pretty, you need to go in and add more liquid latex barrier. And I'm using my arabesque stencils from What's Up Nails. These are really pretty, and I'm not even sure why I picked them. I had so many What's Up Nail stencils I was going through trying to decide on, and these just caught my eye. And they really worked with the color combo. So I'm putting these on and I'm kind of smooshing them down, being really careful around those edges because these do have really tiny spots that if they're not all the way down, you're gonna end up having like blobs of polish that will ruin your look. And nobody wants that. I just want like really pretty nails that are super hot and super gory and Halloween like. Well, maybe not gory. I'm going for more cute Halloween than gory today. Don't worry guys, gory stuff's coming. And then you reverse your gradient, as you saw, and dab, dab, dab some more. Dab, 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 dab. I never know what to say when it gets to this part where I'm dabbing or I'm doing something that's just really obvious I don't need to explain. 
I feel kind of dumb just rambling on and on. I'm like, oh, by the end of this, nobody's going to want to hear me talk again ever. But, you know, filler. Nobody wants to hear silence either. Once you've got that done, you, uh, you know, peel up the vinyl. Oh, well, first I have to peel up the liquid latex. And then I kind of pull it up from the bottom, get it stuck with the vinyl there. And then I go in and I pull off the vinyl. But guess what? This is exactly how you don't pull off a vinyl. Wrong. 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 So much wrong. Now let's try that again. Let's see if we can do it correctly this time. Pulling up our liquid latex. Pulling up our vinyl real nice and neat. Pulling it from the edges. Oh, look at that. That's the right way to pull up a vinyl. See, this is exactly why I said you should not try to learn things from me. I don't always do them right. And sometimes I mess things up really badly. And then, going in and doing a little more cleanup. Once again, I have, like, some of the liquid latex barrier stuck to my cuticles. I always end up with that, like, under the edge of my cuticle. I don't know why. It just keeps happening to me. Once you've, you know, correctly pulled up your vinyl, clean it all up, you go in with your final layer of top coat, which really makes the orange hollow pop. I know people were probably watching this going, that orange isn't very bright. The top coat made it pop, guys. Not even playing. And then you have a gorgeous Halloween reciprocal gradient. This thing is beautiful and I get to work to work tomorrow with my Halloween scrubs waited all month to get to wear Halloween scrubs you know the whole three days of the month so far but I just got new scrubs in today and they're gorgeous and I can't wait to wear them that's it that's all there is to this look easy gorgeous and hollow filled as I always do I'm gonna leave all the items used in the description box if you like this Give it that big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more fun stuff and tutorials because you definitely want to see what is happening on this channel for the rest of October. There is going to be some wild stuff going down for Crystal Seriously Halloween. So yeah, you might want to subscribe and have those notifications on guys. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.